We've got a little bit of a content drop here for MLB 23 today. I would love to see your thoughts on everything. Any cards that you're excited for down in the comment section. A new Chase Pack 10 with 99 Bryce Harper. A new Finders Keepers Pack. New Ranked Seasons with, I think, three Legend Rewards. A new event going on. Double XP just started today as well. So let's just go ahead and cover this new content. I just want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes on yesterday's video. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Y'all are continuing to show up and showing love yesterday. I just really appreciate it. But let's just go ahead right now, start this video off with the 99, the finest Bryce Harper. The new chase card, 120, 116 for his contact ratings, max power versus righties, 115 power versus lefties, 104 vision, 125 clutch and discipline, 99 durability, 82 fielding for him, 85 arm strength with 95 arm accuracy, 80 reaction, and 74 speed. Obviously, first base primary position plays left center and right field for his secondaries. Night player, dead red unfazed one of my favorite quirks breaking ball hitter and yeah no this is looking like a great card but as you can see he's going for 1 million stubs and right away the content just came out I want to go ahead and see how many buy orders there are for him on the market I was the 48th person in the world to put in a buy order for a million stubs now that's up to 78 i'm curious to see how long it sits there how rare this bryce harper is going to be but that is the new 99 finest bryce harper the new chase pack 10 card we're also supposed to have this new finders keepers pack one in the pack shop but as we can see it's not here yet, so we're going to go ahead and go to the new rank seasons. Check out the new program, the new rewards, specifically those new World Series rewards. As we go through, they still got the rewind packs where you can sell these cards. It's the same thing. They have World Series rewinds. You're able to sell those, but the new rewards, you're not able to sell those just like usual here in the ranked program. So starting out with the pennant race, the two new diamonds in here, finest George Springer. And man, I just, I'm not a big fan of the 97 overall, 98 overall finest that they've been dropping. Uh, I just know a lot of players would want to be using the 99 version, but I'm sure maybe we have another 99 Springer. But hey, here's the 97 finest George Springer from the Blue Jays. I'm still a little bit salty about the, uh, the new bar in the Contreras, I think. But then Suarez from the Mariners, he gets a finest card. And am I crazy or did he sign with a different team? I'm trying to remember who it was, but I can't think of it. We also have some new wild card rewards. A couple more 97 finest cards. Sean Armstrong right here. 122 hits per nine. We can see the velo in the top right on each of the pitches. Control looking great for him. And then the break looking pretty good as well on that 97 reliever Sean Green. And then Max Muncy. I mean, hey, he's got max power versus uh, both sides, but wow, that is, man, okay. I guess I'll use him in BR if he pops up. That, that's probably about it, maybe some events, but hey, there's a 97 Max Muncy. Division Series, you get some bats. The new Championship Series cards, a couple more 97s. Switch hitter Candelario from the Cubs. 93, 95 contact, 101, 100 for his power. And then we also have a James Outman from the Dodgers, 97 finest as the other new championship series reward. 118 power versus right-handed pitching, 96 fielding, 95 speed for James Outman, 90 and 93 for his contact, only 62 vision. Another World Series rewind pack just like last time. And then the three new World Series rewards. Three legends, two retro finest, one at triple crown Cy Young. And we got Vinny Castilla starting us off. 120 and 121 for his contact. 125, 115 for his power. 113 vision, 125 clutch. Wait, is this the best Vinny Castilla that we've ever had? This is actually kind of a nasty looking Vinny Castilla. 92 fielding as well, 60 speed. Third base also plays shortstop, but I'm actually a little bit surprised. I was not expecting, I guess, this type of a Vinny Castilla, but hey, that's actually not that bad. I know the discipline's a little bit low, but besides that, he's looking solid. And then we got a Johnny Damon retro finest, 125 and 120 for his contact. 109 and 92 for his power, 125 vision, 90 fielding, 
80 speed, 125 clutch for this 99. Johnny Damon, some quirks. Plays left, center, right, and first base. And the final reward, the final World Series reward, the 99 overall Cy Young. If he was so good, how come he never won a Cy Young award? But he's got 106 for his hits per nine. Okay, that's a little bit low. Uh, 125 stamina. He has... 92 velo, 99 break, 96 control, 109 for his pitching clutch. In the top right, we see the pitch selection, the velo on each of them. Screwball going to be nasty. 12-6 curve going to be nasty. The control looking really good on each of his pitches. And then obviously the break looking good. I know he's only got 106 hits per nine, but he could be kind of nasty. If, if his pitches really move a lot and you can control him as good as it's looking like, he could end up being a good Cy Young or good pitcher. I should say, but I'm just not a big fan of that motion that he has. You know, it's a little bit too long for my liking, but those are the World Series rewards. I'm not sure if any of them are guys that I'm going to personally want to use maybe on my God squad, but there's three legends. I'm curious if any of y'all are going to be going after trying to get these guys for maybe your starting lineup in ranked seasons. And this Finders Keepers pack, I didn't realize. It's literally, you can buy one of them. It's 50,000 stubs and you can't sell the card. It's literally Wade Boggs and these Yankees uniforms. That's what you get, 50,000 stubs. I'm gonna check right after we see his attributes, but I'm guessing you could probably use this card for the 99 Kyle Seeger for that Finders Keepers collection. He's got max contact versus each side, 112 power versus righties, 87 versus lefties, max vision, discipline, and clutch, 85 fielding, 97 for his durability, and 45 speed for the third baseman who also plays first base. There's 99 overall Wade Boggs. And let's see, I'm assuming he'll be able to be used for this collection. And yeah, there he is. So, and if you don't want to maybe spend a hundred something thousand stubs on Devin Williams, then you could always get Wade Boggs. He could help you with this Finders Keepers collection for the 99 Kyle Seeger. And if I'm not mistaken, the last bit of new content we have are some new cards, some new rewards for the modern day madness events. Tops now, monthly awards, and live series, 23 All-Star Game drafts. So pretty much any cards from this year, from the 2023 season, it looks like three inning games, All-Star difficulty, no overall limits or anything like that. We'll check out the 12 win finest Lane Thomas after we check out these new rewards. Starting off with five wins, you get this 97 finest Andres Jimenez from the Guardians, 85 97 for his contact, 85 70 for his power, 100 vision on the card, 97 speed, 99 fielding for this 97 overall. Keep moving on down. You get one of the rewind packs at 10 wins, and then at 20 wins, there is a 99 overall Josh Hader. Two seam slider, circle change, max hits per nine, strikeouts per nine, home runs per nine, pitching clutch, velocity, and break, 84 control. We see the velo on each of the pitches in the top right. We see the control, and that scares me a little bit. I know he's got 125 hits per nine and all that. He throws fast. And then he does have this break up in the top right as well. But the control does scare me a little bit when it comes to using Josh Hader. And then he does have outlier on his two-seam fastball. And then at 30 wins, you can get one of these 12-win rewind packs. And then bottom right, we see that finest Lane Thomas as the 12-win reward in a single entry. And here are the attributes for that 99 Lane Thomas. 103 contact versus righties. Max 125 versus lefties. 109 power versus right. 122 versus left. 95 vision. 115 for his clutch. 86 fielding. 84 reaction. Max arm strength with 92 arm accuracy in right field. Also plays left and center field with 99 speed on the card. And that's the 12 win reward for this new event. And now Harper's up to 149, 1 million uh, stub buy orders. That's crazy. And then again, double XP is going on for the weekend. I think they said maybe until December 5th on Twitter. I would have to go check that again. But on December 5th, looking at the calendar for the next few weeks, we have new flawless rewards. It looks like we're going to have three legends in those. I'm praying. I don't really want it to be from BR. I don't really want it to be a flawless reward. But I'm just praying for a God Squad and 99 Willie Mays 
On the 8th, we have a Finest Other program with 7.99 overall Retro Finest players, including some question marks. That looks like it might be Willie Mays, considering the last name is four question marks. Let me see. W-I-L-L-I-E. Yeah, that's looking like it could be Willie Mays in the Finest Other program, Moments and Missions to Earn Rewards. And then on December 21st, I kind of hope we have some content between the 8th and the 21st, but... On the 21st is the launch of Season 6. All sets return to Ranked Play. We're also having a new event, Battle Royale, Ranked Season, Mini Season, and Conquest Map. So a lot of stuff coming on December 21st. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm interested to see any, if, what cards you're excited for down in the comment section. I'm excited to use the Bryce Harper. I guess whenever my buy order goes through, we could start working on that debut for you all. Drop a like, subscribe, we got daily uploads on the channel, and I will see you in one of these on screen or in tomorrow's daily upload. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out.